So we want to go ahead and find the center, foci, vertices, and graph this equation. So what we need to do first is we need to arrange this. So we need to get this in the standard form. And how I'm going to do this is I'm going to get x squared plus 4x. And I'm going to move the, uh, the 4 over here. And I get 4y squared minus 8y is equal to 0. Now I can, I can convert x into this form. And then uh, I'm going to pull out a 4 out of the y squared, so I get y, squa uh, y squared minus 2y. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the square, so I take half of this value here and then square it 1, and then I have to balance the equation, so I take this right here, times it by 4, plus 4. Um, so here I'll write this out, x plus 2 squares plus 4 y minus 1 squared is equal to 4. I'm going to divide 3 by 4, so I get x plus 2 squared divided by 4 um, plus y minus 1 squared is equal to 1. All right, so for my center, it's going to be negative 2, 1. And then for my um, foci, uh, it's going to be with my major axis, which is going to be with x. So in this case, it's going to be um, negative 2 minus 2, which is negative 4, uh, 1, and then 0, 1. And um, major vertices, that's just going to be... Uh, actually, foci is wrong. I'm sorry. Actually, I'll just do this. These are the vertices. Foci is actually... Sorry about that. Foci is going to be um, square root of 4 minus 1, which is the square root of 3. And that's going to be negative 2 minus square root of 3, 1, and negative 2 plus square root of 3, 1. So we can go ahead and graph this. So it's negative 2, 1 for our center, and then our vertices, negative 4, 1, and then 0, 1. And then for a minor, it's just going to be 1, 1, and then negative 2 minus root 3, which is root 3 is approximately 1.7, so right about there and right about there. And that's it.